This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Paint Squirt Flower. This video is a part of the free motion quilting project created by Leah Day. So far over 300 designs have been published to the project for free with video tutorials just like this one. Check out the other designs and share them with your friends at freemotionproject.com. Now let's get back to Paint Squirt Flower. To quilt this design, you're going to start in the center of your quilting space and stitch a circle. And then to one side, you're going to stitch out with this wiggly curvy line. Now I cut right there. All I did was simply hide those threads inside the middle layer of my quilt. Now I'm just going to go back and forth, expanding this kind of wiggly line. This is my paint squirt. <laughs> and I'm just expanding those lines on either side of it. I'm echoing. So I'm looking to the original line that I stitched and just trying to stitch a set distance away from that line. Now I'm going to branch out with another paint squirt kind of petal here, stitching straight down and then stitching back up again, just simply echoing. And for echoing, I really find that it's a lot easier when you just kind of try and look at really the space between your foot and the line of quilting before. Uh, using the edges of your foot as a guide doesn't always work and can actually make your line a little bit messy. So just try and uh, estimate, you know, do some drawing. And the more you do it, the easier it will become. But it's kind of hard to explain what to look at or what to focus on. I guess the best thing would probably just say, look at your needle. Look at that general area. And try not to focus too much on the edges of your feet. So you can see I'm just kind of branching out. I've branched out with the third leaf and then now I've kind of cut and moved on ahead. So you can see how these leaves are building up and interlocking together over the surface of the piece. Now if you wanted this to look more like a flower, you could easily make the paint squirt petals uh, a little shorter and not so many echoes so that they interconnect this way can see how I'm building up those echoes and, and continuing them so that way they cover every square space, every square inch of this quilting space. You don't have to stitch it this way. If you want it to look more like a flower, you're going to want those petals to look more like individual petals and not have them touch. So leaving that space in between them. And that's perfectly fine. The wonderful thing about designs like this is that really everyone's going to stitch it in a different way so it's like everybody is going to have their own version of this particular design so it's really neat here's what it looks like whenever you finish paint squirt flower find over 300 videos on free motion quilting plus many tools and supplies to make this easier on your home sewing machine at freemotionproject.com